Hi, this is Greg from Bell's Backyard. In this video, we're going to go over one of the most important things that you can do before you plant your seeds or seedlings, and that's check your pH. We're going to go over why you do it, how you do it, when you do it, and how to fix it. Let's get to work. the reason why pH is so critical. pH is nothing more than a scale of being acidic or basic. It goes from 0 to 14, 7 being absolutely neutral. Most of the vegetables that we grow in our garden like the soil pH to be around a 6.0 to 6.8. I like to keep my soil around 6.2 to 6.5. Now if the soil is too acidic, it's going to damage the roots and they're not going to be able to pick up the nutrients that they need. If the soil is too basic, then it's going to bind those nutrients in the soil up and it's not going to allow the plant to grow. So let's go ahead now and look at how we check the soil pH. Okay, to test the soil I use a test kit from Lust Relief. This is the rapid test. It's 40 tests and what it tests for is pH, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. That's the NPK of what you see in all of your fertilizers. But we're only going to focus on the pH. Now this little vial that's right here, all you need to do to check the pH, take the cap off, take a little bit of your soil, put it in. There's a fill line at the very bottom. Let's get it in there so it's just about right. And then you take the color-coded little tablet, green and green, open it up gently over top of the vial. There we go. Set that right there. And then we're going to take the syringe that they give us. Now I'm using distilled water. I've already checked this. It, uh, it has a neutral 7.0 pH and there's also no nutrients in it so it's not going to throw off any of my tests. I may spill it though. And then take the lid, put it back on, and give it a good shake. Now we're going to take and we're going to let that set for about a minute. Now you can see it's already starting to change colors. The front of this vial has a color code kit to it. I don't know if you can see that right there. Now as the sediment settles down to the bottom and the water starts to change colors, all we're going to have to do is hold it up, use natural sunlight into it, and then that'll give us kind of a gauge or a scale of where our pH is going to be. So with this one, looking at it, my pH is around 7.2. Two. So at 7.2, that's going to be a little bit too high for the vegetables because, like I said, I like to keep it between a 6.2 and a 6.5. So now we need to go back and we need to adjust this soil. We'll get to the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash later in another video. But while we're at it, before we get to the how and the when, uh, if you like what you see in these short videos, just click the subscribe button. It should be like right there. Give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Okay, now that we know what it is, let's go take a look and figure out how much, how we're going to do it and when we're going to do it. Don't do it in the wind. When? When do we check and when do we adjust our pH? To change the soil's pH takes about two to three weeks, so it's a slow process. When we do it, we start all of our seeds indoors and it takes about two to three weeks for them to sprout and to get ready to come out to your bed. I recommend doing it at least two weeks if not four in front of it. If you do it at four weeks, you can make a little bit of adjustment at about week three before you put your seedlings in or if you're gonna direct sow and put your seeds into the soil because you don't wanna burn them if you're trying to bring the pH down. Now, let's go look and see how. Okay, the how. Now we need to get our soil pH in this particular garden down. And I wanted to get it, like I said before, 6.2 to 6.5. Now I'm using Dr. Iron, which is 55%, uh, what does it say here, sorry? 55% sulfur, 22% iron, so it's an iron sulfate. Uh, if you look at this bag, it's a 21 pound bag. I got it from Amazon, you can still see the label that's on there. It cost me about 15 bucks or so. The, the link is below. Now, 21 pounds seems like it's an awful lot, especially when it's 1,000 square feet for three and a half pounds. So if you're a small gardener, that's only like 0.35 pounds per 100 square feet. And if you're a 
if you're only doing a 10 foot garden that's 0 0.035 pounds now don't don't leave me right now i did all the math for you so it's 0.56 ounces per square feet now how much is that i did the work for you what i did is i took and i put it on my scientific scale and i weighed it out so 0.56 ounces equals a total of one tablespoon so all you have to do this is a 32 square foot garden so i'm going to need just a little over three of these I'm just going to sprinkle this around. Now the iron sulfate, um, something you want to do with it is go ahead and get it wet as soon as you get it into the garden. I'm going to bring my rake out here and, and rake it out a little bit. I'm going to turn on the, uh, the sprinkler system. I'll put it back into place, wet it down, and I'm just going to let nature take its course and come back and check it in about two weeks or so to see how I'm doing. Uh, later on, I can do some adjusting with getting the soil pH, just minor adjusting throughout the season, uh, just adding some vinegar and water combination together. It's a cup of, cup of vinegar for a gallon worth of water. I use a two gallon container two cups of water come out there and it'll cover this 32 square foot bed pretty easy uh, if you're going to have to raise your pH what you want to use is an agricultural limestone now you can get that at any one of your local hardware stores garden centers or something like that it uses a little bit more but that's okay it just follow it kind of the same way put it on top of your soil rake it in and then just let it go you should be okay again the trick is two to three weeks prior before you put your seeds or your seedlings into the soil. If guys, thanks, I appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next video.